because the Most High God tells his people how to dress. That's, That's right. the reason why our brothers, the Northern Kingdom, wore garments like that. And they still wear that to this day. You know what that's on their clothes? It's called fringes right. with the border of blue. And guess what? We wore fringes on the west coast of Africa. And guess why we stopped wearing fringes? Because we were persecuted and put to death right. if we tried to keep our own customs right. by our slave masters. Like what? So y'all hear what he's saying, right? I'm just saying that we don't have to wear fringes because the Holy Spirit is supposed to bring all things here yes. and teach you all things. So yes. would you say that you're moving in the Holy Spirit now? Of course. Why would you say that? Because what you think is that the Holy Spirit is involved. It's not. It's not. The Holy okay. Spirit, it has nothing to do with the law. So what does the Holy Spirit have the something Holy Spirit, to do with the, the, Holy, the Holy Spirit is the Spirit, correct? The Holy Spirit is a spirit? Yeah, it's a spirit. And what is it supposed, what's the purpose of the Holy Spirit? To bring everything back to your remembrance. Bring what to your remembrance? The law, but it's not the fringe or something. Let me it's show you something real quick. Get John 4. How do you get the whole, how did you get the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit? Yeah. Well, it says that the Word is going to baptize you. The Word, the word is going to baptize you. That's how you get it. it. Y'all brothers, I'm with the Holy they coming from. They think, <laughs> brothers know what the Holy Spirit is. They think that water baptism. Is water baptism. All right. Now, the prep, what we're gonna do is, you mentioned how you get the Holy Spirit. It's just something that just falls on you after no, no, being no. baptized. No, 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 no. No. Thank you. The Holy Spirit is a spirit. You have to receive it by the love of God. By God, how do you receive it though? How do you receive? Yes. How do you receive the Holy Spirit? I'm just asking. I'm, I'm asking to see where you're coming from, real quick. How do we receive? Yeah, how do you? Because a lot of people walk around saying they have the Holy Spirit, they have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit is moving them, right? How do we know that? How do you get that? Well, first you have to be transformed. By the how do you get transformed? By the Word. By the Word, right? Let's read that. Get, first, get John 14 verse 15. We're dealing with how do you get the Holy Spirit, and what you'll understand is no one out here. Especially if you're not wearing fringes, has the Holy Spirit on. Right. Right. You understand that? But but we're gonna deal. We're gonna we're gonna read it to you. I allowed you to speak. I want to see where you was coming from, right? Now we're gonna allow the Bible to prove it to you. How you doing, bro? We're gonna show you our people, the so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, how you get the Holy Spirit. Oh, you know that? John chapter 14, verse 15. Go ahead. You know? If ye love me, keep. My commandment. Now, you got that, right? Agree. Okay, I so that's agree. Jesus Christ. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments, right? Read. And I will pray the Father. He said, I will pray the Father. And what's the Father going to do? Read. And he shall give you another comforter. And he's going to give the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans another comforter. Why do our people need comfort? Why do our people need comfort? Wake them up. Huh? I say you go ahead. Tell Our me. people need comfort because we're the ones that are oppressed here in this nation. That's we're right. the ones that are identifying ourselves as black. Right. As as um Hispanic. Right. As African Americans. Right. We're the ones that feel as if when we wear our European clothing that we don't have to come back to our customs of wearing the fringes and representing yeah. our God and our nation and our people. We're, we're the ones that are lost. Read. Even the spirit of truth. Even the what? Even the spirit of truth, Read. whom the world cannot receive. The world cannot receive the spirit of truth. What is the spirit of truth, though? Y'all know what the truth is? What's the spirit of truth? Like a monk, it's the laws. He says, if you love me, keep my commandments, right? I'll send you another comforter, even the spirit of truth. The truth is, read that. Psalms 119, verse 142. Go ahead. Yeah. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Go ahead. And thy law is the truth. So what is the truth? The law is the truth. The laws of God is the truth. That's we'll go right. back to John 14, though, because he said the world cannot receive this. Why can't the world receive the truth? Why can't the world receive the understanding that you must keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments? Right. Because the laws was never given to them. Right. The laws right. was only given to one nation of people, and that is the Israelites, the so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's we're right. going to prove that. Give me Psalms 147. Bring it up. We're going to do precept upon precept so that we can gain understanding. And, and hopefully, my brother, you, you can learn something as well by right. reading the scriptures. Forget the doctrines that we've been taught all our lives. That first of all, that you're a nigga and that you're nothing. 
Bring it up. That you can't be nothing and that you must learn your doctrine from the so-called same people that did this to your foreparents. That enslaved your foreparents, indoctrinated your foreparents, taught your foreparents to hate themselves, hate their people, and hate their entire, and hate their God. Right. By moving against them. Read. Psalms 147, verse 19. Go ahead. Yeah. He showeth his word unto Jacob. The word was only given to Jacob. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Unto who? Unto Israel. Read. He hath not dealt so with any nation. He has not dealt so. I understand that, but yeah. we got to go through this so that the brothers that never heard this before understand because we're dealing with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And the Holy Ghost is only dealing with the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. You get that by keeping God's laws. That's right. right? But we must set the premise that, listen, this is only for you. Right. And yeah. then when you understand what's going to be brought to your remembrance, mm. that's when you'll understand what the true Holy Ghost is and you won't have no issues with wearing fridges again. Right. So we're going to deal precept upon precept so that we can give you the proper understanding. Read. And as for his judgments. And as for his judgments. His judgments for what? For breaking the laws of God. Read. They have not known them. They have not known them, right? The Holy Ghost is going to teach you. Go back to John 14 now. Read verse 15 and jump to 26. John chapter 14, verse, verse 15. Go ahead. Oh, if ye love me, keep my commandments. So God is saying if you love him, keep his commandments, right? That's Christ talking, right? But Christ is only dealing in the most high God's commandments. Read. Verse 26, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. He said, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Now, because remember, he said he's going to send you a Comforter, right? Yeah. What is that Comforter? And he said, the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Read. Whom the Father will send in my name. Why would the Father send that Holy Ghost? Because you're keeping the commandments, right? right. I want y'all to stay with me. Y'all understand that? The Father's going to send the Holy Ghost if you're keeping the commandments. Read. He shall teach you all things. He's going to teach you all things now. He's going to teach you all things. And what is he going to bring to your remembrance? Read. And bring all things to your remembrance. He's going to bring all things to your remembrance. Read. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Whatsoever Christ has said unto us. That's past tense. So what is he going to bring to our remembrance? Give me Romans 15 and 4. Huh? The comforter, right? Yeah. No, the comforter is going to bring something to our remembrance. What is that? The Holy Spirit. The comforter is the Holy Ghost, though. We just read that, right? Yeah. Or are they two different things? Yeah. They're one thing, right? Read that again so that we don't have confusion. John, John 14, verse 26 again. John chapter 14, verse 26. You know. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. So he says the comforter is the Holy Ghost, and you get that by keeping the commandments of God. Right. You get that by keeping the commandments. Read. Whom the Father will send in my name. Go ahead. He shall teach you all things. And do what? And bring all things to your remembrance. He's going to bring all things to our remembrance. So if you're moving as a so-called African-American here in America, guess what? You don't have the comforter. You don't have the Holy Ghost. Right. Yeah. If you're moving, if you're not, if you're shaving your head bald and not applying God's laws to your life, you don't have the Holy Ghost. That's if you right. identify yourself and your people, as black Americans, West Indians, Haitians, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, you can't have the Holy Ghost. Right. That's what the Bible is saying. Right. Right. Get Romans. Get no. Get 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 um Romans eight verse sixteen. Right. Yeah. Get Romans eight verse sixteen. Now. I got you. But we're going to show you what's going to what's going to be brought to your remembrance and what the Spirit is going to bring to your remembrance because it said the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Read that. Romans chapter eight verse sixteen. Then we're going to show you. That there's a judgment for you not wearing fringes. Right. And that you're supposed to keep that for the rest of your life. Right? That's right. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. It says so the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. What spirit? The Holy Spirit, right? The comforter, right? The words that are in this book, right? It bears witness with our spirit. What is he going to bring to our remembrance? Because remember it says he's going to bring something to your remembrance, right? What is he going to tell you? That we That are we are what? are the children of God. That That's we right. are the children of God. Now, when Paul wrote this, when the book of Romans was written, when the book of Corinthians was written, all the New Testament books, what book did they reference? And what were they reading out of? They were reading out the same book that the Christian church tells us to stay away from. They were reading out of the Bible, right. the Old Testament, right? right. Yeah. So what? What is the Old Testament now? It says it's going to show you that you're the children of God. You understand that? Yes. How is that? 
Because you're going to remember the scriptures that are written here and you're going to be able to identify with those things. That's right. You understand that? You give me, um, give me, Jack, give me Matthew 5 now. Because why do you say fringes are done away with? So you understand what the Holy Ghost is, right? Yes. And what's the purpose of the Holy Ghost? It's going to teach you all things. It's going to show you who you are. Show, not let you know who your God is. Let you know damn sure that this is a lie. And this is more closer to the truth. And we're not saying that that's Jesus Christ. We're saying that Christ looked like a black man. You understand that? Read. Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Because yeah. a lot of our people, we walk around, we say we don't have to keep fringes. We say we don't have to grow our beards. We say we don't have to change our diets. We say we don't have to worry about how we dress. Because the laws are done away with and Christ did away with those laws, statutes, and commandments. All those little traditions, right? I never said that. But what did you say? I said we don't have to wear fringes. Fringes was not a law. Fringes would be no law. Why? What scripture tells you this specifically that you're not supposed to keep fringes? Jeremiah 31, 31. You shake your head No, he's fine. Oh. Jeremiah 31, 31. Uh -huh. Okay. So let me ask you a question. So what laws are in our heart? Really, brother? What laws? What the moral laws? The moral laws, right? So the Sabbath day is no longer a law that we have to keep. Yeah, we have to keep Sabbath. And what are we supposed to do on the Sabbath? Part of the Ten Commandments. It's part of the Ten. So is there was there ever a judgment for not keeping friendships? Show me that in the Bible. I will show you that, and I'm going to show you that the judgment's going to come in the latter days. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. of his people right. to judge yeah. the earth that is the let did that happen yet no yet. it didn't happen right so read that again and it shall come to pass in the day of the lord's sacrifice Go ahead. that i will punish the he will, he will punish what the princes Go ahead. and the king's children so there's going to be a punishment brought down from the most high god in the latter days right read why and all as such as and a, it says all such as a what are clothed with strange apparel that are what Strange apparel. Read it again, clothed. And clothed with strange apparel. All such that are clothed, clothed with strange apparel, apparel that is strange to the Most High God. So what would that be then? What would strange apparel be to God? That's apparel outside of the Most High's dress code. Yes, Give right. me Numbers chapter 15 now. Right, yeah. Because the Most High God tells his people how to dress. That's, That's the right. reason why our brothers the northern kingdom wore garments like that. And they still wear that to this day. You know what that's on their clothes? It's called fringes right, right. with the border of blue. And guess what? We wore fringes on the west coast of Africa. And guess why we stopped wearing fringes? Because we were persecuted and put to death right. if we tried to keep our own customs right. by our slave masters. Wake up. And it's time to come back to that, my brother. Yeah. That's right. Read that. Wake up. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel Read. and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments For how long? throughout their generations. Stop. It says throughout their generations. 
we just read a judgment that in the last days, days beyond today, that the Most High is going to judge people that are not dressed according to God's dress code. And he just read that we're supposed to wear fringes throughout our generations. Right. That means never ending. Right. Read. And that they put on the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Go ahead. And that it shall be unto you for a fringe. It's to us for a fringe. And to do what? Read. That she may look upon it. That we may look upon the fringes. Now read. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. And remember all the commandments of the Lord and do what? And do them. And do all the commandments of the Lord. Right. So by us coming back to our nationality, coming back to our customs, and wearing the royal garments that, give me Isaiah 52 verse 1. Right. Wearing the garments that once we repent and receive the Holy Ghost, we will now turn back to those things. That's when the Most High God is going to deal with us. Right. And yeah. prevent us from being put to death. When the missiles come and he judges the earth for that. Yes, 52 Lord. verse 1. Watch this here because he's most of telling us something to read. Isaiah chapter 52 verse 1. Go ahead. You know? Awake! Awake! So the most high God is telling the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American men and women to wake the hell up. Yes. He's talking to you too, brother, that think you don't have to keep the laws. He's telling you to wake up, read. Put on thy strength. Put on your strength, meaning start keeping the laws. Read. Watch this. Watch what he's gonna tell you to do. Read. Oh Zion, put on thy beautiful garments. Put on your what? Your thy beautiful garments. Why did he tell him once you wake up to change how the way you dress and to put on your beautiful garments? What garment is he? What's the context? You want the context? I want to get context. Get Isaiah 51 now. Read the last two verses. Matter of fact, read the last verse because it's going to show you the context. Remember, the Bible is a book. The chapters and verses is continuous. So 52 is, in, is, is going right into 51. Isaiah chapter 51. Read the last verse. Isaiah chapter 51. Matter of fact, read thy sons have fainted. Okay. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 20. Go ahead. Just the context of it. Read. Thy sons have fainted. The sons of God has fainted. Fainted from what? Fainted from their nationality. Right. Fainted from their customs. Right. Fainted from their heritage. They don't know who they are. They are asleep today here in America. Oh, they have fainted. Read. They lie at the head of all the at the, at the head of all the streets. They lie at the head of all the streets. Where's the so-called black man at in our community? What's the head of the street? The street corners, right? You got corner boys selling dope, completely destroyed today. Read. As a wild bull in a net. An uncontrollable bull in a net. Raping, robbing, murdering, and killing their own people. That's our people. Read. They are full of the fury of the Lord. They are full of all the judgment of the Lord because they didn't want to keep God's law. So now we are being judged as a nation of people. Now read. The rebuke of thy God. The rebuke of our God. Jump down to the last verse because he wants the context of Isaiah 52. Wake him up. Read. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 23. Go ahead. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. The Most High God is going to change the same cup that we receive, and he's going to put it now into the hand of them that afflict us. Read. Which have said to thy soul. Which have said to who? Thy soul. To our soul. Anybody's soul that doesn't want to keep God's laws. Anybody's soul that doesn't want to wear fringes. Right. Doesn't want to change their diet. Right. Wants to marry the other nations. What right. do they say? Read. Bow down. Do what? Bow down. You bow down your soul. And watch what you also have allowed your oppressor to do, teaching you that man-made, hateful slave doctrine. Read. That we may go over. Go ahead. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground. And you have laid your body as the ground, black man. Read. As the street. Go ahead. To them that went over. To them that went over, and they walk all over you now. Now read the next verse. Bring it up. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 1. What is he telling the black man to do now? Awake! Awake! He's telling the same men that laid down, that bowed down, that conformed to their slave master's religion to wake the hell up. Oh, to wake up, read. Put on thy strength. He says, put on your strength now. Clothe yourself with righteousness. Start keeping God's laws, read. Oh, Zion. Go ahead. Put on, put on thy beautiful garment. It says, put on your beautiful <laughs> garments. Right. Meaning, your clothing with the fringes and the borders of blue on it. Read. Right. Oh, Jerusalem, Go ahead. the holy city, for henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. 
So death will never come into us again. The uncircumcised and unclean. He's got a point because there's ten books that are missing in the Bible. Oh, what He's books are missing? Buy, wait, wait, wait. Hey, buy, listen, I'm, I'm gonna tell you Shemaya. something. I'm gonna show you something real quick, brother. But you know, because what? listen, you're humble. I'm gonna show you. Give me Acts chapter 13. You got I'm some books. Really Give me Acts 13. I want, I want um a Get up. I want to align this real quick because the, the issue with our people is when brothers are trying to learn, we're out here teaching our brothers and sisters to come back to your heritage. Yeah. You're not black. You're a prince that has power with God. That's right. We're teaching our people that the reason why you have high blood pressure, mm -hmm. we struggle with strokes, all these different things is because we break God's dietary law. That's we're right. telling our people that you must start dressing and representing yourself as a prince that has power with God by wearing your fringes in the borders of blue because that's what identifies you. Right, you right. know what a Muslim looks like based on how they dress? Right. 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 Now listen, you I know mean, what I those fringes look like, yeah. but I'm going to show you what this brother's moving in. You got it? Acts chapter 13, verse 8. But Elymas, the sorcerer, for so, his name by, so is his name by interpretation, mm -hmm. withstood them. Seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Seek to turn away the deputy from the faith. Read the verse up. Read. Verse because this happens all the time that we're out here. Brothers are trying to learn, and you have that one brother, real crafty and slick, or, or think they want to. They they think that they know some doctrine, but really they're against the keeping of the Most High well, laws. Read. Right. Verse seven, which was with the deputy of the country, uh -huh. Sergius Paulus. A prudent man. Sergius Paulus was a prudent man. Read. Who called for Barnabas and Saul. He called for Barnabas and Saul. He wanted to learn from the disciples yeah. that were teaching the gospel. Read. And desired to hear the word of God. He desired to hear the word of God. Now, it's obvious that you really don't desire to hear what we're saying. Right. You desire to preach your gospel, and you want to try to prove like a debate. Right. No, but I, but I, it's I, obvious you're not really coming here to hear on, what we say, on, because bro, I'm, I'm when we was reading the scripture, no, what no, was you bro, doing? Bro, no, no, listen, when the scripture I'm was listening. being read, what was you doing? You opened your Bible, no, and you started I'm reading the scripture to bro, him. Bro, I'm yeah, I'm read. Listening. We see you, devil. Yeah, you read. Devil. Oh, I thought the was the devil. That's so. No, this black devil's too. We're going to show you that read. That's so. Who is also called Paul. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Go ahead. Set his eyes on him. He set his eyes on that wicked bastard devil. Read. And say, oh, all full of all subtlety and all mischief. Oh, full of subtlety and all mischief. Read. Yeah. Thou child of the devil. Child of what? Of the devil. Because you tried to take the word from the prudent man that wanted to learn the word oh. and came with your oh. sorcery. Oh. Read. Yeah. Thou enemy of all righteousness. Yeah. Wilt thou not cease to pervert the right yeah. ways yeah. of the Lord? Because you pervert the right ways of the Lord. What is wrong with wearing fringes? What is wrong with wearing fringes? What is wrong with it? What is wrong with it? What's the purpose of fringes? What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 